Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. You've just clicked on one of my DIY custom envelope videos in which I take one of the envelopes that I use for my budgeting and I decorate it up using cheap and inexpensive materials such as Sharpie markers, maybe a little bit of rhinestones, and some sealant spray. My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using the cash envelope system, building hefty savings and financial security for myself and my family. So if this is something that might interest you, or if you're just looking for some inspiration or motivation for your own budgeting journeys, or simply some entertainment, thank you for being here. Consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my thriving community. I'd love to have you and I'd love to be a part of your weekly inspiration. If you're already one of my current subscribers, one of my thrivers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been having a good weekend and you kick-started this week off just like every Monday. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started full swing into this video, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It is basically a conversation starter, a little something to help me get to know you better and you to get to know me better. So I'll ask the question in this video and I'll answer it. And then you guys can put your answers in the comments below. So today's is, what was the worst phase you went through? Hmm, motherhood. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. Teenagehood. Being the mother to teenagers. Probably the worst phase that I've gone through so far. What about you guys? What's the worst phase you have gone through? So you guys have spoken. I asked you in the last DIY video which envelope you would like to see next and everyone chose retirement. So that is the envelope we're going to do today my retirement envelope. So I'll be taking these stickers off and I'll be replacing it with this image. I love it, it's so cute. I bet you can't even tell where we would like to retire to. <laughs> so if you're new to my videos and you've never seen me do a DIY envelope, this is what I like to do. I'll take the stickers off um, of course and clean up the envelope itself but I find an image online or I create an image or I find one and edit the image to what I want it to look like then I size it down to the correct dimensions that I want for my envelope. I print it out and then once I have it all ready to go I will slide it in here and tape it down to the cardstock that I have inside of here and once I've got that positioned where I want it then I will use Sharpie markers and trace over the image on top of the envelope. So the image will stay on the envelope once I pull this out. It helps me get a little bit of my creative juices flowing. It is also something that makes my envelopes look super cute and it keeps me motivated in this budgeting journey. So I thought that I would share that with you by starting the series. We are getting very, very close to finishing all of my envelopes, which I'm very excited about. Afterwards, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might change up all my envelopes again. Not sure. But anyway, and once I have the image transferred onto here, then I will use rhinestones if I feel like they would look good on here. And then I will also seal it up outside with a sealant spray made by Krylon. It's an acrylic sealant spray for art and stuff. So I will have that in the description below if you were curious. But Anyway, I will go ahead and get this going. Everything from this point on will be time-lapsed with some music, so I hope you guys enjoy. Then at the end, we'll come back, we'll check it out in closer detail, and we'll put it in my binder. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Been trying to change what I've been trying to say Words don't come straight from the hands of my mind It's such a shame that it fell out of place It was never me that was bringing you down 
This one took a lot because there were so many small spaces, but I love it. It looks great. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back into my savings binder. I will be taking this off camera and spraying it with my acrylic sealant spray so that it is nice and protected. But in the meantime, let's see what it looks like. Saving for the retired life. Heck yeah. All right, so it'll go after savings. And that's where she belongs. So that just leaves savings in here. And then, of course, I do need to take the letters off of this and put my own letters, but it'll suffice for now. And then we did do TK Toys already, which is nice and sealed. But what do you guys think? I think it looks great. It looks like it fits right into the family. I like that the blue kind of, you know, complements the color of this. So it looks good. But that is it. So I am done with this video for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys tomorrow for my one year Q&A cash stuffing. We're going to be stuffing my YouTube paycheck and I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So every one of you who have asked questions over the past couple weeks, I am going to be answering those questions in that video and giving you a shout out, of course. So I'm looking forward to that. We do have about two weeks worth of videos back to back, except for maybe one or two days in there. But um, I did post my schedule. I hope you guys caught that. It's on the community post of my page. And it's the schedule that I plan to adhere to for the next two weeks. So hopefully everything goes well with that and we stay on schedule. But I will see you guys tomorrow for our one year on YouTube cash stuffing and Q&A. As always, guys, until next time. Bye.